Yo, I am Alex Delaney, and today I'm at Frankel's, a New York-style deli in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And I'm here to order one of everything on the menu. I'm talking breakfast sandwiches, bagels, maybe a little smoked brisket, a BLT, we shall see. But this isn't my neighborhood. I brought a friend who lives here and works at Bon Appetit, Molly Baz. We're gonna get to this menu right now. Oh, Molly Baz. Hey, Alex. You decided to come to Frankel's today? I'm here for it. You've been here before. I've been here many times. I live in the nave. What do you know about Frankel's? I know the people that run Frankel's. Cool. It's one of the best delis in the neighborhood, probably the best deli. Okay. It's a classic New York style deli menu. Generally, when I come, I go for the pastrami egg and cheese. Ben is a huge pastrami fan. My ben husband. Willett, husband. The other one that I love is the number one. That's a bagel sandwich. Okay, do you know how this works? More or less, but why don't you walk me through it? All right, we're ordering one of everything on the menu. We're taking one perfect bite of each thing. We get to decide how we order in which order. And at the end, we're gonna give awards to the best dishes. It's 11.30, we should start with breakfast stuff, right? Maybe oh, start definitely. with the bagels, do all cream cheeses and the spreads. Yep. Right, then go breakfast sandwiches after that. Totally, and then we'll go back to we'll go bagel back sandwiches. To bagels. And then I think like we move past breakfast, matzo ball soup and latkes. So like kind of a little snacky mm, moment. I love a snacky yeah, moment. a little snacky moment. Do you french fries and hot dog? I mean, obviously we're having a hot dog. We do the meat sandwiches. We gotta end with some sweet stuff. What's the drink sitch? Oh, great question. So, no booze here. Yeah. What's your deli beverage of choice? Here, I have the option to order Dr. Brown's, and I'm ordering Dr. Brown's, and I'm getting the celery soda. What are you gonna do? I am a committed supporter of Diet Coke, so I am gonna go with Diet wow. Coke. Wow. Should we start? I think we should start. All that, all yep. that. Yep. Cheers. Cheers to you. I noticed something here that I've never seen before, and that's Pumpernickel Wait, everything bagel. You've never had one? No. Oh. Is that a thing? Oh, it's a thing. Well, it's a thing for those who know. Let's go through the cream cheeses. There are five different kinds in front of us here. Yes. Tofu cream cheese. Yes. Regos. Regular. Smoked salmon. Scallion. And dill. I'm excited about the dill. I, the dill is called my name right now. It's calling me too. Frankel's uses a base cream cheese from Ben's. I said we get this going. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Plain on. I'm starting plain on plain. Okay. First, First bite. bite. That's good cream cheese. Garlic with the dill. Oh, mm. Mm -hmm. the dill. I would recommend the dill. I'm moving into scallion on pumpernickel everything. Mm. That's a freaking good bagel. That's a good bagel. And then tofu. It's like not cream cheese, but it's, it's not. Certainly not, bad. but it has the texture of cream cheese. Like it has that thick, really rich texture. Oh, I haven't had the locks yet. That's a hard yeah. play right there. All right, we did all our swiping. Yeah, we swiped. We did all our bites. What makes a good bagel a good bagel? I generally like a bagel that's not too dense, so it doesn't feel like 75 slices of bread <laughs> smushed together. It has to be equal parts chewy, crispy, and fluffy. I feel like these bagels fare pretty well. These are made by Boz Bagels. Boz Bagels, dense, dense cream, cream cheese. cheese. Marriage, I open a, love, I open it's beautiful. A shop. So what makes a cream cheese? I think it's the balance between tang and fattiness. So I'm never here for a low fat cream cheese. Don't give What's me reduced fat cream cheese. Don't all. ever. This cream cheese is delightfully tangy and extremely creamy. All right, this was like the breakfast appetizer. You know, the oh, classic yeah. the nine, hors 12 hors bagel hors appetizer. Yeah. Uh, but now it's time for snack. breakfast sandwich. Okay, yeah, let's go for that. Let's do the sandos. Get them out of here. Here they go. What do we got here? Some salad sandwich clubs? Yeah, so this is how we're gonna taste their salads. Yeah. In the form of a club. Yeah. All right, let's take a bite of each. Start tuna. Start tuna. Mmm. Wow, that's some pretty perfect tuna salad. I feel like we got a fish fish. Okay, stay in the fish world? Yeah, stay in the fish world. That's my new favorite club. That's so good. Why the is whole tuna fish up? not white fish yeah, exactly. in the world? Yeah. Like, why is this the one that most the people entire... eat when they could eat that? The entire world played itself. Yeah, they got it wrong. Research. Wow, I really want to take another bite of that. This I know. is kind of torturous. Well, we, we're saving this. We're okay, gonna yeah. get, we're, everyone's going to eat these later. We're not wasting That's true. This is brioche. This looks like the best Texas toast ever made. Really lemony. Dill and lemon zest in there, I think. That is good. I think the thing that stood out with all these, right, is the mayo they use. It's a lemon mayo. So yeah. you're starting with that like acid right there. It brightens right. everything up. You're not just like getting weighed down with all this fat. I like that play. All right, so we got all the salad sandwiches as clubs. What makes a good club? Okay, well there's the obvious lettuce, shreddice, 
Is there anything that the Bon Appetit staff loves more than Shreddis? We nothing. agree on nothing at BA except for the fact that we love Shreddis. Shreddis is great. It's our brand. It's the premier form of lettuce. Yeah. The bacon needs to be that perfect balance between crispy and chewy. The other thing for me, talking about crispiness, is the bread, you can see, really crispy and toasted on this side, not so much on this side. If you toast both sides, it's a lot of texture. You don't get that soft, pillowy thing going on. I think they strike a good ratio here of about 50% salad yeah. and then 50% club. Which was your favorite? In my heart of hearts, I want to say chicken, but it was the whitefish. The whitefish yeah, The whitefish was so, it, it turned me. Yeah. Yeah. Club sandwiches are great. On to the next. Let's go. Let's go. This is like the pinnacle of Frankl's. <laughs> Honestly, this is why I come here. Where do we start? I think we got to go the simplest, Simple. the egg and cheese. That hollow roll is insane. I love the simplicity of this sandwich. So good. All right, what's up next? Should we go bacon, egg and cheese? Love that on a bagel. Okay, should we head in towards the king? Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm not allowed to name my favorite, but I already know. <laughs> so pastrami egg and cheese. Oh my God. That shouldn't be legal. It almost tastes like super tender, mm -hmm. smoky bologna. I'll take a doggy bag of all of those, please. Thank right. you. So corned beef. Shingle, Ooh. nice little shingle. Look how many folds there are in that yeah. scrambled egg. It's almost not scrambled. It's almost like it's a okay. folded omelet. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. That corned beef is delicious. That's some really this friggin' good corned beef. Really good. Greens. <laughs> what a delight. Mm. Wasn't expecting that to be so delicious. The sweetness of the onion in here, so perfectly distributed. The way that they're spread throughout those layers. It's like layers, marbled. It's, it's like mar marbled egg. That's kind a great of the most surprising. Option. Yeah, totally. I, this one, I feel like they're all good. This is a hollow roll with lox, eggs, and onions. Mm hmm. Last one. To be fair, this is my favorite breakfast sandwich of all time. Whoa. I'm obsessed with that. What? Pork roll is the king of breakfast meats. How did I not know that? Because you're not from New Jersey or Philadelphia. Also, I'm okay with that. It's tangy, it's salty, it's fatty, it's just like everything. I want to eat another bite of that so badly. I think I'm going to champ. That was awesome. That was outrageous. The platonic ideal of a breakfast sandwich. Give it to me. A soft egg. Whether that be this folded technique or a soft scramble, it mm -hmm. can't be dry. If it's dry, it's a miss. American cheese, and then some kind of salty meat. There's gotta be that super savory element to kind of balance all the creamy cheese and egg. Yes, that's what takes a sandwich next level. If you're coming back, you had to order another one. What's your favorite? What's the one you're ordering? I obviously was most blown away by this Taylor ham situation, this yes. pork roll, if you pork will. Pork roll, yes. But, I think I would have preferred it on the hollow roll. And I'm just thinking, I wonder what would happen if you did pastrami, pork roll, egg, and cheese. Do it. This is awesome. <laughs> this is how I get to eat more bites. Okay, here, I could use this. The classic egg and cheese. We're gonna go a little bit of this. Okay. That meat is so salty and savory, mm. and that is so buttery and sweet. Good. That might have just ruined just generally Purple? everything for me. I feel like they should put that on the menu, and it'll be our special. It could be an off-menu secret item, so anyone who watches oh, this wait. show can come order the, the Boz and Delaney special. The AM special. Alex Molly special. Yes! We'll talk to Taylor and Zach. We'll talk to management. All right, uh, make some room. Make some room. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. What's Step up, right up. Oh, okay. Thanks um, for having us, yeah. letting us take over. Yeah. We have you guys gone through the entire menu. In pieces. In pieces. Never yeah. in one Never. sitting. If you had to pick one, the holy grail of your menu, personally, what would it be? I think I'd go latkes. Oh, nice. I have the latkes. <laughs> I'm a huge latke person, so yeah. I'm excited to hear nice. that. Zach, what do you got? Um, the turkey club, hands down. Whoa, uh, curveball. Oddly enough. I think the reason I like it so much is because, to me, it tastes like a Big Mac. <laughs> and I know that doesn't make any sense. He's, like, he said that since the beginning. It's gotta be the Russian dressing. It's like the Russian and, the and something about the bacon. The yeah. club and the latkes. Okay, we have one thing that we want to talk to you guys about. Sure. And that is a new idea. We're calling it the A&M Special. No, the AM a Special. AM Special. And it's going to be on the hollow roll, the egg, the cheese, and then it's one layer of Taylor ham and one layer of pastrami. It would not be the craziest thing that's been ordered <laughs> yeah. in there. No, you might no. need to drink a lot of water after. It I comes just with a okay. complimentary <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> Open 
faced and closed face. Oh, also new round of drinks. Yeah, you're well, still I'm on the diet Same coke. old, same old. I'm moving to diet black cherry because I feel like I've had too much sugar today. Okay. Should we start open face? Start open face. Smoked salmon tartare, cream cheese, watercress, onion, lemon, and olive oil. Mm-hmm. 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 J'adore. The mincer, white fish salad, dill cucumber, and beet pickled onions. Mmm. Pickles make everything better. The number one, pastrami salmon, scallion cream cheese, and dill cucumber. We have cream cheese all over your face. I know. I'm always a pastrami salmon kind of gal. Mm, I'm really uh, pastrami anything. Pastrami anything, yeah. Is that roasted this sweet This is the potato? veg, yeah. Wow. Mmm. That's good. They got some great options for vegetarians here. The netty, Scottish salmon, dill cream cheese, horseradish beets, and onion. Just That's beautiful. Pause for a yeah, moment pause. for the beauty. Yeah, pause. Appreciate the beauty. Beautiful. <laughs> the old bacon, tomato, and scallion cream cheese. Did not expect that to be as good as mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Why is it so good? That's delicious. I don't want to say this when like I'm kind of getting a little full. No, it's because there's bagels. It's the bag. <laughs> Okay, it's not like we're eating 25 salads. We're eating 25 bagels yeah, when is that back to back. Happen? Still excited about it. <laughs> still, we're still very through. much into it. We're professionals here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's your favorite? Oh my God. I didn't think I was gonna say this. Ooh. I think it might be this. Same, same? Same. same. If that wasn't open-faced, it wouldn't be my favorite. Exactly. But it is. It's about ratios. About ratios, it's perfect. Watercress on top, nice and like just bright and crisp. Kev, come on. Crew's gotta eat too. Tell us what you think, Kev. Give us your tasting notes. You might need a little napkin over there. He's better than us. Well, you're only right. allowed to take one bite, dude. Come on, you're breaking the rules, man. I'm not on the show. <laughs> no, it's not fair. I'm gonna get off the show. Okay, we're not quite finished with the fish sandwiches yet. We've got Ooh, one lordy, more. Lordy, lordy, lord. The classic. The classic has arrived. Um, tomato, red onion, caper, and here Nova. But Frankel does three different types of fish that you can get on this sandwich. So we have Nova, which is cold smoked salmon. We have kippered salmon, which is hot smoked, which is what gives it that more cooked texture. And then we have sturgeon, which is another hot smoke. This one is a much subtler flavor, smoked flavor, yeah. and a milder fish, so it's not as fishy as the salmon is. Yeah, and sturgeon, people will know because caviar is the egg, the roe of the sturgeon. We've got the classic, topped with tomato, red onion, capers, the smoked fish here, though, is the Scottish salmon. Mmm. It's the perfect balance of creamy and fatty and smoke. It checks all the boxes. There's a reason that it's classic. Yeah. I think I'm gonna taste more stuff. You do? Yeah. You know what? Second wind. Coming strong. Right now. What's coming up next? Hmm. Next, uh, I think we have latkes? some latkes. I think a little mozzarella soup. Oh, oh shut the what? front door. <laughs> Funny, I'm hungry again. I love a good matzo ball soup. Okay. Since I married a Jewish man, I've been committed to the soup. I did not marry a Jewish man, but I'm proposing to these lakas. You're married. Just to based these on appearance alone. <laughs> let's start laka. Yeah, hands. let's. Yeah, we don't need that. What are we doing? Let's crack what into are, these bad what boys. What are we, aristocrats? What more could you ask for? Oh my god. I need wow, to put it's it down so, so hard I don't. not to eat another bite. Oh my that god. That might have been the hardest one. First thing about a good laka for me. Crispy exterior. 100%. You never want any sog. Also, right? you don't want it to be excessively greasy. Correct. On the outside. Correct. Crispy, not greasy. Crispy, not greasy. And maybe a little bit of onion in there. You're right. And then it has to be well seasoned on have the outside. Anything that comes out of the deep fryer needs to get hit with salt. There's a lot of salt on these, and that's why they're so delicious. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's the combo platter of the sour cream, cream. And, and the applesauce. Apple you don't just choose one, you go no, both. You gotta go both. This is a fabulous vodka. Super vodka. And I do want to reiterate here that Molly is the resident matzo ball expert at BA. She just spent a long time developing our best ever matzo ball soup recipe. So I'm gonna let you guide us through uh, okay. this evaluation. Okay, the elements of a great matzo ball soup, in my opinion, yes. are a deeply chickeny broth, a ball that is at once fluffy and holds its shape. So somewhere in the middle of the dense fluffy spectrum. Yes. Carrots and onions, dill and black pepper to finish, mm -hmm. and lots of salt. Okay, and wait, schmaltz oh in God. the ball, right? Needs it. Oh my God. Needs. If you're not putting schmaltz in your balls, <laughs> what, are you doing? what really are you doing? That's what's gonna give the balls that chickeny flavor. Yeah. So it's chicken on chicken. 
All right, let's eat. <laughs> Heal me. That's what I like. That's some great mozzarella. That's soup. what I like. The spoon made a clean scoop right out of the ball. And you can tell that the texture is holding together so it's not just disintegrating into the broth. But there's also like enough moisture in there. If you squeeze it, you can see how much broth and schmaltz is coming out of it. You can also see that there are herbs incorporated into the ball. I do stuff. like dill in my balls. I like that too. That didn't sound great. Dilly balls all the way. <laughs> I think now's the appropriate time to acknowledge the fact that I do have the meat sweats. Yeah, you're it's like, ha it's a little. I'm it used to be like I was I was dewy and glowing as the New uh -huh. York, you know, You've gone makeup community. That. Like I've gone beyond that. I'm in sweat territory. Yeah. I freaking love a hot dog. Mm. So much. Oh, the sauerkraut. Love the deli Interior, mustard. Deli mustard, perfect. I've had quite a few hot dogs in my day, especially on I've camera. I've seen. You've seen. But like the way I judge that, again, snap at the outside. Do you hear that? Snap, crackle, pop. Damn. Sign of a good dog. Number two, properly seasoned inside. You're not tasting like a bunch of nitrates and chemicals. All beef. All beef. That's just a good dog. We're gonna keep going. I was thinking maybe I would do like this type of lab. A little walk around the block. A, a jog. Mmm. Wow. Serious business. This yeah, requires that's why a bit. You got it. Yeah. We've got all of the meat sandwiches here. I'm gonna start with the shami. Start with the shami. Mmm. Mm. Tender ronies. All right, moving right along. Got the corned beef with mustard. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys, can we take a moment here for this beauty? A she moment is of beauty. Respect. She is great. She's about to be all on my face. <gasps> I know what my favorite is already. Yeah, so. <laughs> quick brisket? Look quick brisket stop. Wow, this is all sauced up. Mmm, oh my god, it tastes like the holidays. All right, where are we going? BLT? Yeah. Uh, that's something. Right now, it's between uh, these two yep, for me. Yep. The turkey club on a hollow roll with bacon, lettuce, tomato, Swiss, and Russian. <laughs> That's right. funny. It tastes like a clean Big Mac. And then we've got the chopped liver sandwich. Mmm. That's good. That's good chopped liver. The roast turkey with coleslaw, Swiss, and Russian. Look at that. That's like Mount Turkey. That's so much. I wish turkey. that was a real mountain. It so might we be. could live on. Coleslaw is so good. Let's at the same time go three, two, one, and point to our favorite. Oh. You have to. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ah, again. Every time. Where, like, where is we have the same palette? The hot pastrami, make it a Reuben. So add sauerkraut, add house-made Russian dressing, yes. and melted Swiss cheese oh on griddle dry. If there is a wall, I am very close to it. We have one more thing to do. Have a little, little sweet treat. There's a lot of food here. Molly, don't worry. The crew's gonna be eating it. Let's get these out of here. Let's get some dessert. Dessert. <laughs> I feel like you know this already about me, but if you don't, I'm just gonna remind you. I do not prefer chocolate. I don't think it's prefer chocolate. I, I think hate chocolate. you don't like it at all. And I see a little bit of chocolate here. <laughs> just a, a tad. So I'm a little scared. This is something that to me screams Italian. Classic Italian rainbow cookie. I like that they don't yeah. have rules. We're like, we no love rules. rainbow cookies. Yeah. It's basically cake in it's a cookie cake. form. Yeah. It's really delicious. It's good. Then we have arugula. And I feel like it's an oft overlooked cookie. Not that chocolatey. I can handle that. Yeah. You go for the chocolatey part, because I'm not gonna. Whoa. This is so moist. That's mm. good. This is amazing babka. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll. Exactly. With chocolate swirled throughout, oh. baked in a loaf pan. That's my favorite of the three. Babka's best of the three, yeah. <laughs> Putting our thing caps on. Our Frankel's caps on. Our Frankel's on. caps on. I feel like this is gonna help us get in the zone. We've decided. We've decided. We've thought about it. I feel this. really good about it. Okay, the number one, the first place, the grail, the thing you're going to order at Frankel's when you walk in for the first time, what is it? It's the hot pastrami Reuben. Swiss cheese, the Thousand Island dressing. The sauerkraut, oh my God. the griddled pastrami. So flavorful. A perfect sandwich. A truly perfect sandwich. The second, this was a curveball. We second weren't place, expecting this. You know, the second time you're in, you've already had the, the pastrami Reuben. That's the Whitefish Club. That's the Whitefish Club. It was so good. So good. Smokiness of the Whitefish, that nice lemon mayo, the shredders, the bacon, perfectly cooked bacon. Who ever put bacon and Whitefish together? Because uh, I never have. They deserve a Nobel Prize. And then 
the dark horse, the kind of insider special, the veteran move, the pro move, the regular move. Our move, if you will. Our move. All right, pastrami, egg, and cheese, add a slice of pork roll. We call that the, the AM special. And that's all. Now you know. All right, we've eaten literally everything in the menu. Easier than I thought. Easier than I thought, but also like that not feels entirely horrible, comfortable being honest. right now. I really feel terrible. But Molly Boss, thank you for joining me. It's been amazing. And Greenpoint. Thanks for having me. Thanks to Zach and Ashley for hosting us. Thank you for watching. Bon appetit.